the news in details. Woman mentioned names of popular pastors who allegedly use her for stage miracles. What some pastors do in the name of working for God is not funny at all. Most of them involve a planned miracle. Why the need for stage miracle? Many men of God see it as a way of attracting people to their church to boost their stances, which is highly against the book. This article interested in bad behavior of some religious leaders. Bose Olasukami, the woman who was allegedly used for fake miracles by some pastors, has asked the general public to forgive her. A story which she shared with Afiz Hanafi, Bose calls for the arrest of all the pastors involved. Bose, a 44-year-old Muslim, said she had an accident to her leg and hand which stopped her from doing her vendor food business. After the death of her husband and mother, according to her, she met one Fatila Musa who saw her condition and told her she could make money going to churches for miracle on her hand and leg. Fatila gave her 1,000 naira and left. According to Bose, the first church Fatila took her to was Radiant Army Deliverance Ministry in Lagos, and the name of the alleged pastor is Tony Anthony. According to her, she was given 9,000 naira for the stage miracle by Fatila. Bossel also said Fatila took her to a church in Abakaliki, a boy state, Mountain of Liberation and Miracle Ministry, and the name of the alleged pastor is Chris Okafo. She was paid 10,000 naira by Fatila after the stage miracle, and also a pastor in Port Harcourt and the name of the alleged pastor is Godswill Abbey, which she was used for the same reason and got 11,000 naira, which was also given to her by Fatila. According to her, she never made direct contact with the pastors. All communications was from Fatila. I was arrested in Igondo where I rented a house and shop from the money I got from a man named Henry after he called me and told me to stop involving in fake miracles. Actually, I regret to see anyone included a miracle scandal is working for himself, not Jehovah. This woman confessed all she did and pleaded for mercy that aside let's talk what is wrong with the pastor of today is miracle a must hmm my viewers first and foremost i will say this to mrs bosser that so far you have seeked for mercy. So far, you have asked for mercy. And according to the book of Psalm 77, which says that you should ask and you will receive. And because you have asked, believe you me, Christ has granted you that forgiveness. And because you have decided to make a U-turn, he has forgiven you because he's a forgiving father. Go and do this no more because Christ is a forgiving God. 
As for the friend Fatila that has been using you for this evil and heinous crime, I know in no due time she too will be arrested by the Holy Spirit. She will be caught and exposed and she will seek for God's mercy. I'm not surprised at what has just been revealed because even Christ himself has stated it in the scripture. He spoke to us, he said that we should be mindful and very careful because when the end time draws near, a lot will be happening. A lot of men will come. A lot of men of God will surface. They will come saying, claiming to be men of God, to be men sent by God. They will perform all sorts of miracles in the name of God that we should be careful that they are not from God. They will come in sheep clothing. They will come in different manner that we should be careful. Viewers, this message is strictly for many of us that are actually looking and seeking for miracle. Many of us focus so much on miracle, forgetting salvation. Forgetting the fact that we need salvation to be free. Miracle has put so many of our Christians into danger. It, they are falling into the hand of evildoers. Evil pastors, even some has been inflicted with evil, with witchcraft, with diseases, with sickness. Some has been lured into different occultic um, group, all in the name of miracle. Miracle has caused a lot of harm than good. It has affected so many lives. It has made people to commit all sorts of crime that they never dreamt to commit. All in the name of looking for miracle. Miracle has chased so many married women away from their home. It has made rendered a lot of home useless. All in the name of miracle. My dear, only Jesus can perform a miracle and you can make it happen. It's all about living a good life. It's all about living an authentic life, making your relationship with Christ authentic. It's all about being faithful and submissive and you see miracle happening in your life. Our God is a merciful God. Let us be mindful of the people we call our pastors, our, our, our spiritual fathers. Let's be mindful of how we follow them because they might not be real men of God. Let us learn to live a life of holiness. Let us strive to be prayerful because I know that through prayer, Christ can communicate with us and he can attend to our needs even without going to any man of God for laying of hands. My viewers, in as much as this woman has come out to testify against this man of God, I still urge us not to still criticize. Let's just on our own pray and ask God to reveal the truth to us and allow God to take vengeance. Let us not criticize them. 
Let us not arrest them. Let's allow God to attend to them by himself. This is my own little opinion. Don't forget to leave your own comment behind. Click on the subscription buttons as well as bell buttons to receive more updates. Thank you.